Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna film a video about my lip tattoo because a lot of people ask me some questions online and I really want to tell you how it is doing after already three years or almost three years. The only thing that is a little bit faded is my B, as you can see but i will tell you more about that in a few seconds so if you want to know everything about lip tattoos the process how much it costs my experience the aftermath how to take care of it then keep on watching So a little backstory, I got my tattoo when I was 16 with a friend of mine, she got a wrist tattoo and her mom was okay with that but my parents didn't want me to get any tattoo so I did get one but one in my lip so they couldn't see it. So we went to a shop where you could get tatted when you were 16 so that's why we went over there. I did sign a paper and there was written stuff like the tattoo can fade out, the tattoo can go to different places on your skin and I needed to sign it because I got a lip tattoo and it didn't go anywhere else as where it was tatted but it could have went to another place in my mouth so I'm very happy that that did not happen but it is a possibility that that could happen to you so I didn't call the place in advance but I do recommend you doing that because not everyone is experienced in doing lip tattoos and not everyone feels comfortable doing them so call in advance to be sure you can get them done so the tattoo process and my experience like I said I needed to fill in a form so I was informed about what could go wrong and couldn't go wrong like a lot of tattoos you need to know what design you want and I wanted vibes because I think vibes are very important even now three years later you can just feel the vibe wherever you go so I wanted vibes in my inner lip so she also let me choose the size and where I wanted in my lip I wanted it very far behind because if I was talking like this you still can't see it so I heard very far back uh, she cut the stencil and she tatted my tattoo it was done in around five minutes it was pretty fast and I paid 60 euros because the minimum price was 60 euros so that's what I paid for it and when she was tattooing my lip I needed to hold my lip down like this and yeah you will start drawling and it will get a little bit messy but it is worth it because it's a really nice tattoo and if you're lucky your tattoo will last a longer period of time mine is still there after three years for some people it will fade in six months and for some people it would last 20 years it just depends on your body how it heals but did it hurt it was like around a two or a three out of ten it wasn't too bad it just was really weird i don't know how to describe it but my wrist tattoos hurt it a lot more as my lip tattoo it wasn't that bad so you just got it your lip tatted and now it's time to take care of it well she told me to take care of it with just some alcohol free mouthwash and rinse twice a day just also be very clean inside your mouth after you eat just brush your teeth that was about it I asked if I could smoke and drink that was not a problem I literally smoked a few minutes after I got the tattoo done but okay so yeah I don't smoke anymore but that's what I did so that was not a problem it wasn't healed the next day but it didn't hurt anymore and yeah I didn't really had any problems and also what you must not forget is in your mouth you have saliva and that has healing properties or antibacterial properties so that's why I probably also heals very quickly it was i want to say healed after a week but it was probably fully healed after two weeks so it was not bad at all so like i said before it really depends on the person for how long the tattoo will last mine is still there after three years but the b did fade into a p and i did cut it retouched one time i only got the b retouched because that line was gone in like a month or so and the reason why I probably faded is because my lip just doesn't want to accept the ink over there and it was a proper B at first but now it looks like a P and it just is a very much faded B it doesn't want to stick there so that could happen as well I hope for you that that doesn't happen because now I just look dumb that I misspelled the word vibes but okay it's not too bad do I recommend it and should you get one Yes, you should get one and I do recommend it because no one else can see it if it's effed up It is in your lip so again no one else could see it and it doesn't hurt it heals fast and my boyfriend and I were thinking about doing a kind of joke and he would get good and I have vibes so when we're at a party we're like yeah we're good vibes blah, blah. I know it sounds cringe but I think 
the meaning behind it is funny so yeah i think it's cool just get one and if you don't like it it's probably faded after a few years so why not so that was the video for today guys i hope i informed you well about a lip tattoo i know i watched a lot of videos about getting a lip tattoo getting a piercing done i watched all of those videos i really enjoyed them and they were very nice before getting something done but yeah this was the end of the video i hope you enjoyed comment like and subscribe and then i will see you in the next video guys bye